Hey guys, Jeff Moss here, Diverse Dimensions. Uh, I'm still going through some videos here on the reviewer, the Polyworks reviewer. So I've got a, a pretty cool example I wanted to show you guys on the usage of this uh, of this tool, this free viewer. And you can see down here, I've got it loaded already on my on my system. Um, but I wanted to show you this. So you can navigate over to your uh, to your Windows Explorer or wherever your files are being saved. Um, whether they're saved by a project number or by a part number or by a client number. However you guys do your uh, your file saving is totally up to you, but that's always a good conversation to have. Um, we like to uh, sort all of our, our projects based on clients. So um, those conversations, though, internally are, are good to have so that everybody's aware of of where those projects are stored or those workspaces are when they are complete. So I've got a, a little um, folder here just set up for the reviewer under my client's drive for you guys. But I've got this workspace right here of a project that was previously done just a, a few years ago, actually, but just a good example of this of this viewer. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right mouse click on the workspace or on this this workspace here, it's got this little icon by it. And I do want to talk about this one here in another video. This is a compressed workspace. So I want to show you how we can do those as well. But here's one that's live. It's got all of the all the workspace files that are associated with this workspace. Um, you can see that here. But click on this, this Polyworks um, workspace icon here. And let's go to the Polyworks reviewer. Um, if you don't have a license for Polyworks, you can't open it up in the uh, in the software. But what you can do is look at it for free in the reviewer. So let's fire this up a second. Notice what happens. This will blink kind of quick. That workspace manager, that big white screen just went away. And now it is in the background. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But what it's doing here is Polyworks is pulling up the actual project and all of the the default stuff shows up here across the top all these features all this stuff so before getting into all this here i just wanted to navigate down here notice this so this is the workspace so polyworks has this umbrella or a workspace um, where is named and then all of the projects will show up underneath the workspace so each project is going to show up underneath this little icon here here's a point cloud i did one of the the tools was a scan so you see that scan shows up here, but the projects are showing up here. Okay, so back on over to the reviewer here. I'll click on him. The first thing I like to coach you guys into doing is, uh, once all this stuff comes up on the screen, is navigate up here and punch on this. This is uh, showing the tree view, or this is the, the tree view that um, all of the features are going to show up reports or yeah if there was a report there'd show up a report down here these are all the items of a report which are all the the snapshots but all the alignments show up here uh, the data if a point cloud was showing up it would show up here so any of the clients or anybody that would like to see the measurement project this is the best place to do that all of the features will show up here so these are good conversation points to have with whoever measured the part or with your clients or whatever. You can come up and say, oh, let's look at your alignment. I'm, I'm clicking on the left click. I'm going to talk through the mouse clicks a little bit as well um, on navigation here. But I right mouse click on this best fit measured objects. And then I'm going to look under properties here with the left mouse click. So what it says is the objects used in that alignment are the four posts. So there's circles on each of these posts. So that's what's going on here with the alignment. But good conversation to have is, oh, why did you pick the four posts, uh, the center points of those four posts, as opposed to a zero corner, which is showing up here. So this is a, a good conversation as opposed to just handing off a report and saying, here's your data. So again, here, all, all the features, I'm middle mouse button pushing down. Uh, it's the roller on my mouse here. But if you push down, it shows or hides a feature. So here are the posts that are circles. There's a tooling plane up here. So I'm just showing those features as I kind of navigate through, uh, through this model or this analysis here. So what I did have though is my client said, hey, you've got one of these circles. I'll hit the plus key. There's a bunch of features under here. So hit the plus key. Whoa, look at all of those circles. And it just so happened that my last one is a little bit out of spec on diameter by six thou I don't buy it so my client would say you know what let's take a look at that data 
or he could go in and look at all of the features associated with this. So I just wanted to show you this as a quick little video without getting into the nuts and bolts too much of Polyworks. But what happens here is all of the features used in the alignment, all of the features measured into the output, um, snapshots, anything in the report, all of that shows up here. So you guys have the ability here to play and look at the measured project and then get together with the, uh, the person that measured this and get into conversations about the output. But again, just a quick video to show how we can grab a file that's coming out of the, uh, the Explorer here, the, or the um, Windows Explorer, and how we just pull that directly into this reviewer system. So again, if you've got questions, please reach out. You can email me, and if you need some further instruction on Polyworks, we would love to be a part of that as well. So reach out at any time.